Hi, I'm Andrew Scarborough, and I'm taking you inside KSC. Boeing CST-100 Starliner completed the pad abort test November the 4th at the U.S. Army's White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. This critical milestone was an end-to-end -end test of the vehicle's launch abort system, verifying it could safely carry the spacecraft away from the launch pad in the unlikely event of an emergency. It was Boeing's first flight test with Starliner as part of NASA's commercial crew program. It sets the stage for the company's orbital flight test, which will launch an uncrewed Starliner spacecraft to the International Space Station on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The next spacecraft to study the sun arrived at Kennedy November the 1st. Solar Orbiter, or SOLO, was delivered to the launch and landing facility formerly the shuttle landing facility aboard an Antonov cargo plane. The spacecraft was then transported to the AstroTech payload processing facility in nearby Titusville. Solar Orbiter is a European Space Agency mission with NASA participation. The mission aims to study the sun's role in creating and controlling its magnetic fields. It's slated to launch in February 2020 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station aboard a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. This week, the spaceport was the first NASA center to be named a Purple Heart entity by the Military Order of the Purple Heart. Kennedy is being recognized as a Purple Heart entity for the support of veterans through employment opportunities and services provided to veterans by the center's Veteran Employees Resource Group. And remember, Spaceport Magazine digs deeper inside KSC.